Hello and welcome to Empire of War Games. My name is Eplash and today we are going to talk about the talents of the Emperor and the Adeptus Custodes and the Sisters of Silence and what their upcoming release in December might look like. If you enjoy the content, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing and checking out the channel's Ko-Fi if you want to support what we are doing here. All right, let's get into the video. So as you might know, there have been rumors that the Adeptus Custodius will be included in a two-player bo battle box set with Gene Stealer Colts. And yeah, we are expecting a new codex, obviously. And we are expecting a lot of things to change for the Adeptus Custodius and Sisters of Silence. The rumors don't specify if and when it's going to happen exactly. It's going to be sometime in December. And it's going to be with a battle box. So yeah, the release is probably going to be similar to the Grey Knights and the Thousand Suns we've experienced like last month, I think. So what is going to change exactly? Or what is the thing that a lot of people hope is going to change? A lot of people want the Adeptus Custodius Codex to be renamed in Talents of the Emperor and include all the Sisters of Silence models and ideally expand the range. That's the hope. And yeah, why is that exactly? Number one, Sisters of Silence are very far in view between when it comes to the models, to put it nicely. They have a Rhino, I think, a specified, and they have one singular kit, out of which you can make three different squads and three different squad types. There are Witch Seekers, Vigilator, and Prosecutor squads. So that's it. That's literally it. And for the Adeptus Custodes, there are more and more kits available and they have a decent-ish plastic range for yeah models that don't have a lot of variety uh, when it comes to the lore and so on, when it comes to their squads, but there is a lot of stuff stuck in Forge World. And I personally would hope that they are going to take some of the most popular choices from Forge World and give them plastic releases, like, for example, the ranged Sagittarius, I think they are called, uh, Custodians, and the jump pack custodians and so on. So we just have more variety in plastic because Forge World really makes it a unappealing choice to add those units into your squad. I might be talking for myself personally here because maybe, I don't know, a lot of people of you enjoy working with resin or with Forge World, but I personally, that's been a big turnoff and why I never indulged in, you know, getting properly into Adeptus Custodies because just too much of their range is behind that resin barrier, which I really don't like. When it comes to the general rules, I think the Sisters of Silence will add cheaper options and a little bit more variety and uh, more models on the board, which offers a lot more options for the general rule set of the Custodies and making them more you know, even more specified, even tougher compared to nowadays models, which usually can even outlast Adeptus Custodes as it stands. So let's talk a little bit about that. Number one, the Sisters of Silence are going to add a lot more variety and offer the talents of the Emperor to have more models on the board and ideally as troops choices. So that leaves GW to make the regular custodians a little bit more expensive maybe, but way more durable. Because compared to Death Guard and Deathwing Terminators, Adeptus Custodes units and especially the infantry models are not that much durable or even less durable than the two examples I just said. So there is a lot that needs to change. Furthermore, custodians are really, really good right now and they are not in a bad spot at all. But I think they need a little bit of retuning when it comes to durability, points, damage. And just because of the additional Sisters of Silence load, which I really hope they add. And this is obviously all building up on speculation, just to make that 100% clear. But I really would wish that they, you know, throw in more flavorful options for the custodies and make them even more expensive so that... Five custodians are really some something to be really, really scared of. And yeah, just offering them more offensive potential for more points would be a nice thing to have. Obviously, custodians are already the army that is hilariously expensive. One model on average costs like, what, 45 points, 50 points. So making them way more expensive is probably not an option. But, you know, adding a 
three points or five points per custodian warden or guard squad model, like singular model, would possibly enable GW to really up their defensive capabilities just to be at least on par with Deathwing Terminators and, you know, uh, Death Guard Terminators and so on. Because the custodians are really, it really, really hurts when you lose a model there and Death Guard Terminators and Deathwing Terminators are not on the same level when it comes to points cost, like at all. So there's that. The Don Eagle Jet Bikes are really, really good as they are, especially the Captain is really, really strong. I see the Captain get, getting nerfed even because as the rules are, it, it's just very, very good. But I would really hope that they just keep it as it is and make the models from the Custodes Army difficult to kill. And yeah, other than that, the rules are still holding up. They are obviously going to change a lot because they did that with every army, the Sisters of Battle, were still a very much working army with their 8th edition codex and still would be. But they decided to change up quite a bit. They added a new model with Marvel Val, who's basically the build around model of the codex. And I don't know, are we going to see a similar model to Marvel Val for the Adeptus Custodes maybe? Are we going to get you know, more additional models, which I really hope the Sisters of Silence really need something more and the Custodes could use something new or ideally have models transferred from resin over to plastic. But all in all, there's really not too much to speculate on. I will make a separate video on the two-player battle box set and speculate on its contents. I have a really good track record when it comes to those speculations and what could be included in those boxes. So make sure to subscribe if you want to listen in and, you know, get a good idea of what you can expect out of a 105 pounds or maybe 125 pounds box with Gene Slackwolves and Custodians. All right. If there's anything else you want to talk about or something that I missed, please let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it there. Thanks so much for listening and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.